Oh, all right, then Mudrick. Mudrick. So Mudrick weren't a marquee signing? Mudrick was Chelsea's marquee signing? In the same window as Enzo Fernandez. Are we sure? Are we sure? Can you only have one? Can you only have Marky. one marquee signing? Uh, yes, surely. No. The whole, the, this whole conversation has been predicated on the idea that there is one single marquee signing. Now you lot are moving the goalposts. No, it don't Now say you it. lot no, are no, moving no. the goalposts. raising your voice. It don't say that. You've got your own definition. They don't say that there though. So now it's two marquee signings, yeah? Pressure's off, pressure's off, pressure's off. No, it's not. You lot are just off. laughing for pressure's no reason. Off. Three They're marquee signings You're signing making now. it, but you're... You're just shouting, you're just shouting, you're just shouting. I don't understand what's going on, bro. What have we said that's so wrong? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Did you know uh, Bernie Mac died 15 years ago? What? What? It's the GOAT, man. Was it 15 years now? Do you want to know what's even crazier than that statistic? What? 2008 was 15 years ago. Whoa. I thought he died in 05. So who's Bernie Grant then? I don't get the connection, but I'll Google it. Bernie Grant. I know he's got the place in Tottenham. Yeah, Bernie yeah. Grant Centre. Come on. I thought it was for Bernie. I thought it was for Mac. That guy. You thought the Bernie Grant Centre was for Bernie Mac? Yeah. Boys, well, last week we were going to do two episodes. We were going to uh, do our Big D predictions episode, which is now a uh, yearly custom, and we were going to do our top table predictions for the whole season. Uh, unfortunately. We weren't able to record those episodes. We recorded some special episodes instead. Not enough of these. No, what? What? Don't say that in Jamaica top. Come on, Jamaica, Jamaica. Every time you say something crazy, I was I'm just asking, Jamaica, why don't you do the big D episode? But what, the, ah. good, the good thing about this is now is that we've had a week, the first week of Premier League fixtures. Yeah. And everyone's predictions for who was going to finish where in the table, they're from last week. That's bad. Is the 2023 24 predictions episode, and I'm going to introduce our panel from my right to my left, starting with the man who played a very good game versus Dulwich Hamlet this weekend, came away with a 2 2 draw. Good building blocks for the season for hashtag United. His name's PK Humble, Humbility for the 170. What? You were meant to say something. Didn't you? Did you have fun on Friday? <laughs> what happened on Friday? <laughs> oh! <laughs> nah, we don't have to do that. He got punched up though. <laughs> yeah, he got punched, he got up, punched yeah. up. Next on the panel, his name's Lippy, Lippy Lickshot, and he's always busy and active, and he's well known to the people of Luton. Yeah, Luton. Luton Town's my second team. Obviously my brother Russ over there as well now, so it's official, man. Next on the panel, we've got 1998 Jamaican international football fan. New player from that team? Robbie L. Easy. John Barnes. You're John Barnes. He's not here. Dion Burton. Is Damien Francis there? Daryl yeah, Powell. Yeah, yeah. Dion, Dion Dublin. I think so. Dion Dublin. Daryl Powell. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Dion Dublin? You might not just yeah, making names up, man. No, 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 no that's the team. Not. Everyone's called Daryl Powell in Jamaica. That's my cousin, man. though. What? Chill. What? That's my cousin. He used to play for Derby County. Also played for Jamaica. Anyway, his name's Jordy, not Jordan. Uh, he sold out his headline show. Quickly too. Within a day. Quickly. Yeah, quickly too. How many hours? Uh, if, you, if you take away the dog years, probably like four. four I hours. understand, take away the dog years. Four hours. That's, this is a rapper. I said take away the dog years, what does that mean? You're a white man with a dog, you should know about dog years, man. No, I don't. Oh, well, anyway, you can't come to my show, you don't buy a ticket. Next on the panel, we got a man who has never heard of a second team. His name's Miles, Miles Fearon. Arsenal uh, came in the group when Arsenal went 1 0 up and said, Poet, Lippy. Went 2 0 up. <laughs> Poet, Lippy. Boys. Then after that, we, I didn't see a message for 24 hours. But his name's Miles Fearon, aka at Mileage UK. AKA Wiles, aka the best looking guy on YouTube. Listen, I watched that film. Oh, Barbarian. Barbarian. I was meant to watch it. If it's, uh, yeah, oh, give me, one, give me, give me a couple it. more days. Is it good? Bro, Is it good? boys. Is it? <laughs> Give me a couple more days, please. It's good. It's random, though. Boys, De I don't know no, what I watched. No. You're going to like I it. I don't know what I watched either. <laughs> but you liked it, don't it? It was good. Yeah. But I was like, <laughs> is it? Oh, oh there's man. A, there, there was a lot of things. I was like, how did I get here? Next on the panel, he's been so busy, he can't even watch one film that he made a big deal out of everyone watching. I oh, know. His name's Steve-O the Madman. He's been up and down. He's been flying about. He's been all over the place. Have you noticed that? He's been busy. He's got a bad back. He's got a bad back. Oh yeah, I forgot about it until you mentioned it. Um, but Steve the Madman, King of Snapchat. Yeah. Better bang, better boom, 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 boom. No, Scott, you just rehearse. Yeah, man. 
That's shocking. He probably did rehearse. That stag. <laughs> That was bad, PYN, cuz that was bad. Put the big picture. He tried to copy PK's cheese. Just, bro, I told you, just go Steve O, the king of Snapchat, and then that's it, boom, just go in. That's it, because that's what no, you are. No, no. You don't, it doesn't need any more. I keep telling you, though, with these slogans, you're messing them up. Just say it and just move. Steve O, the madman, aka the dad man, king of Snap. That's cold. That's cold. Nah, it's too much AKAs. Yeah. It's too much. What do you mean, it's one AKA? You got better AKs. I made this up so I can do, I can have a fifty thousand. Just Sorry, so stay, Steve or the Madman, King of Snapchat. I had the intro. Nah, but I, I think it's mind the gap between the civilians and the Spartans. King of Snap, mind the gap. King of Snap, that's mind too the much. Gap. That is cold. That's I think cold. That's cold. That's too much. No, we ain't. Don't that's take quality. advice from Miles. That's a great. Jordy's right. right. King of Snap. His intro never has him anyway. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. That's it. That's it. I say, say it now. Say it now. Go on, Steve. Go on. <clears throat> So what have we seen all that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, how do I come in? All uh, right, next on the panel. Oh, come on, see, no, I'm doing it. it. I'm oh, doing oh, it. Oh, Calm oh, down. Oh, if you say Bing Bang Bong Bing, oh, 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 <laughs> what was it again? Steve, Steve, <laughs> King of Snap, Mind, mind the gap. gap. Yeah. Next on the panel, Steve O the Madman. Yes, people. Steve O. Oh, the man with the gap, and I'm the King of Snap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll get it next week. I'll get it next week. I'll get it next week. And last but not least, the, the ultimate victim, if there ever was a victim of MK Ultra and their persuasive ways, yeah. it's uh, Poet, AKA Poet's Corner. Yeah, bullied me. AKA, he's having a good time being a, a single father this week. Yes, very, very difficult, but very, very enjoyable. Also, RIP to Magoo, who's probably responsible for me and Scribs' first tune with Timberland that he done. We're gonna count down the 20 Premier League teams based on the order that we have all selected them, we combine the algorithm and it comes up with a single number. So let's say someone says that Brighton are finishing eighth, someone says they're finishing second, someone says they're finishing 14th, the algorithm figures out where they're actually gonna finish based on everybody that voted. Can I ask a question? Please. What algorithm did you use? Chat GPT. And number 20, according to us and most people had them 20th. Not many people people have them outside the relegation zone. I did. Poet did. Geordie did. Vooj did. And that's it. Luton Town. Luton. Serious. Of course. They're going down. I think this is going to be really difficult to play at home. And I think they're going to be really difficult for the teams around them to play against. That's, ho that's my hope for them. I don't think they can do much against big teams. I have no... Uh, yeah, I just, my thing was just hope and love. I just want them to stay here. Because the way they got moved to by Brighton, and I think I've made it a mistake. Late, though. Brighton obviously were the better team, but they, they did the damage late. Yeah, it was yeah. Late. It was but you strange. see that little error they made for the third goal, like their mistakes there. I don't got to like, learn from that though. Away at Brighton is always going to be a difficult game for any team. It's, it's funny, you said, it's, it's, yeah, they got to learn from it, but you got to learn fast. Who's their striker? The quality showed through, innit? They got goals. Uh, what's you got 20, again? you got 20. Uh, Morrison. Uh, uh, they got goals. Morrison, he's all right, you know. Yeah. He's not bad. He, to be fair, you, may, you, you don't remind you reminding me of. <sighs> Who's the guy at Newcastle up top? He's Shaq? Callum Wilson. He's, Callum Wilson. He's a bit yeah, like that. He, yeah, just run, yeah. he runs channels. Yeah, he's, he's, he's solid. He's strong. Busy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think it's safe to say they'll go down, but I've got a little bit of hope just because they're playing a completely different style to the other teams around them and they've got more momentum than the team who are 19th, according to us. And they are going down according to everybody except for Savage Dan. Sheffield United. Of course. Down. They just about town. They look they just look they already look like they don't necessarily <sighs> believe in themselves. Yeah. They boy. just sound like they shouldn't be here. So. Cuz they played Palace first, right? Yeah. It was a great chance to get a win. Mm. If you ask me. And they dashed it. No, they lost to Palace, bro. I'm sorry, man. Edward scored. Yeah, but that's a bit harsh though. What do you think about Max Lowe touching Roy Hodgson's yeah. piece? <laughs> oh. Hodgson was going to set it on him. Hodgson was gonna what? Set it on him. Oh, I thought he was gonna say something else. I thought he said Hunter was trying to sex him. Not in that top, he ain't. Not in that top. Jamaica, Jamaica! <laughs> Jamaica. <laughs> why are you singing, why is he singing along? Because I like him <laughs> now, he's gone. I don't know, they got enough goals. Yeah. I like Ollie McBurney. Ollie McBurney needs someone probably moving off him. Ryan Bruce has got injuries. Is he still a Spartan? Benny yeah. Traore's, who knows? I just I worry about the amount of goals they can score. They've probably got rid of their two best players as well. Yeah, Sander Bergen. Um, yeah, man. Um, 
Uh, Ndai? Ndai from Bournemouth who come through the leagues. Um, he's left? He's gone, Marseille. He's rising ballers or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, That's mad. Where'd he go? Where'd he Marseille, go? Marseille, Marseille. You went Marseille? His story's mad. His he's story's crazy. And he's a Marseille, Marseille fan. Yeah. He's a Marseille fan. No well. way. He's gone back. Nah, he's done his thing. Well, you don't know him from kicks. What kicks? Tottenham kicks. No way he used to come kicks. What, yeah. NBA? Yeah. Oh my lord. And he's He went around the same time as you got moved into the league, right? Mm, I don't remember, you know, but he's from Tottenham. Finishing in the third relegation spot is a team that actually not that many people had them going down, but the people who had them going down had them going down. Uh Bournemouth. Nah, man. I didn't I had I had them say I had them just about making it still. Yeah, Bournemouth. I, I, don't got enough. I don't think they're going down. I, I think they're going down, man. Who's gonna score goals for them? Solanke. I think Solanke looks very good against West Ham. He looked very good against West Ham. Yeah, but he you know Solanke, always, when he comes into he Prem, the season well, though. Yeah, when he comes into the Prem, I don't think he can score that amount of goals. They for just sure. got Alex Scott, man. Down. Mm. Oh. And it's not tried and tested in the Premier League. It's Brooks, such a risk, man. Brooks is back Brooks as well. Brooks is a baller, Fit. though. He looks Max a bit Aaron's sharp. Brooks. left back. Zamora. Zamora? Max Aaron's. Right He's a right back. back. Right back sorry. Zamora. Do you, what, you know what, though? I just think there's way worse teams than them. Way worse teams in way worse positions with way worse players. I think that's a funny one where we put the list in last week and maybe today we might look at that and say, oh, maybe maybe they got enough. I think they got a good manager as well. Who they got in middle of the park? Lerma left with Crystal Palace. Billings, Brooks, Scott. I like Billing. Joe Rothwell, Joe Rothwell hit the bar the other day, didn't he? So what does that mean? He hit the ball, what, so they're going to stay up? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to introduce players and make, give you something to bounce off of. Lewis Cook. Ooh. Talented player. player, though. Talented player. Tired player. I don't I know. know. Hasn't kicked on. Well, yeah. well I think there's worse was... teams than them, though. There's worse teams than Bournemouth. That's, yeah, that's, that, that's just my thing. There's worse teams than every team, though, because if you look at the bottom three, there's teams in the championship. That means they're worse than them. So Here's a team that I think are worse than them, but unfortunately, some people had them around mid-table. I don't know how. They're finishing 17th, according to us. Wolverhampton Wanderers. I think they're going down. Now, boys, that's a worse team. I think Wolves have got enough to stay up, man. And they've got, obviously, it's the Premier They just sacked they their manager. They scored so we the don't least know amount happen. of goals last year by quite a distance. They lost their striker. And they lost their best player. And their manager. <laughs> and their manager quit a week before the season starts. I don't know where you see them staying up. But but listen, I just think that, I just, I just think there's three other teams that's worse than them. I don't, I, like Luton, I don't, the experience of Luton, Sheffield United. I think yeah, but that gone. team spirit at Wolves must be non-existent. The belief there must not even exist in any capacity. Your, your gaffer walked out a week before. A week before the season starts, your gaffer says I'm out. Listen, I don't. I think they're going to be in a relegation battle, but I think they've got enough, just as one or two players, enough quality to keep them in there, personally. Yeah, you could be on vibes though. Like everyone's just on the jolly up. Listen, we're just here for vibes. We're just coming to enjoy and just play, play however we want to play. You know, I think it might save them though. When when they play at home, you might correct me. I probably got a bad home record, but I feel like under the lights, sometimes it buzzes over Molyneux. No, I think they did have a good home record. I think their away record was shocking. I think. If I'm remembering correctly. But who's going to score for them, mate? I just thought, bloody hell. And goals are the hardest thing to come by in the Premier League right now. And one team that we know need goals were the second lowest scoring team in the Premier League last year. They're finishing 16th, according to us. Everton. Now, look, a few people have got them in the relegation zone here. Geordie's got them going down. Greg and Felix have got them going down. Nah, man. I watched them against... Um Fulham, they were good, bro. Look like, that same good. old man. I, I watched them a lot last year. They yeah. played, they played all right. They were strong. They were tough. They couldn't score, and then they'd lose. So they still got Calvert Lewin. Yeah, but he's they should sell him. They have a He's broken. Man, sell they got Neil Morpé. Neil Morpé is another oh, liability. When I saw bro. him starting, I was like, oh, they need a striker. They bought Dan Juma. I don't get it. They're trying to get. Um, I think they're trying to get Nonto. I don't think they will. Actually, no, they might. They I think, well, I think they will get yeah, him. He's, he's, he's upset at the moment. Player. Jack Harrison, I, uh, I think he's, got, he's injured. For six weeks, that stinks. They're just so wasteful. And goals, goals are going to be big factors. I think Luton are going to find goals. I don't think Sheffield United are going to find goals. I don't think Wolves are going to find I don't think goals. Luton's going to find more goals than Everton, bro. It's a good bet. No it's going to be around the same, nah, man. they got I'll McNeil, they got Luke, Calvin Lewin. McNeil. Losing, losing at home to Fulham and not scoring is a really bad sign. Yeah, it's, fair. it's a bad start. Because I know Fulham <laughs> were decent last year, mm. but losing at home in your first game is a bad sign for any team. When you against a Fulham team that I don't think are anywhere near as good as maybe their 
league positions said last year. Oh, okay. I, f- I think Everton might be in big trouble. I think they got enough, man. They got good enough Premier League experienced players in there to keep them up. I, f- I had them to go in down last season, but I think... I think two years in a row they've been threatened with going down. <laughs> My thing is just, brother, it's got to happen. Yeah, just go with it. You lot keep flirting with Deli, going down. Ali there still. Mm. Yeah. Injured. So what does that mean? Yeah, for real. <laughs> what does that mean? Go and land. Follow up. He did the YouTube, you never know. He just might... Yeah. He might he go might, again. He might do more YouTube. That might be his thing. He might become a pundit. To go into the summer knowing you need goals and then to be middle of August knowing you need goals, it's tough. Because every player is looking at each other going, Who's scoring? we know what the problem is. And you go into a game, you lose 1-0 at home to Fulham, and you go, well, we know what the problem is. And then you go into the next weekend, you go, we know what the problem is. And then you just keep losing. Uh, number 15 in our collective league table, I have them going down. So does Dan, and so does Miles, and so does Lumos. So, oh, and Poet. Nottingham Forest. If I'd have done this list today, I probably wouldn't say that because they, when once they kicked in against Arsenal, I thought they looked very good. That and front four could be dangerous. Yeah, Alanga, uh, Brennan Johnson wasted that chance early doors. Yeah, if they uh, if they started Alanga at the beginning of the game, and obviously we had Thomas Party right back, they would have gave us way more problems. A bit more, a few more. Mm, a few I don't more know problems. about that. Nah, the game was stretched by the time he came on, and it was no, saying, it was a perfect game for him to walk into. At the start of the game, that's not how the game goes. So I don't know if he would have. No, nah, I'm I've just seen saying if, enough to know that. Mm, no, nah, but, but if they had, if if they started him, I'm saying if they started a langer, they probably could have gave us a bit more problems on the counter. It was a not yeah, more of a threat, more of an option. I don't know why the manager did not start him, especially if they saw Thomas Party right back, but. This was this this was made before. He's right there, in, a, in a way because they started they, and they sat back they sat back a lot they sat and I thought to myself this is the first game if they do this for another thirty seven games they're definitely gonna go down the sitting back letting teams come on to yeah, them yeah, yeah. but they changed it up one of the hardest excited. teams in the league to play against I didn't like Forest I didn't like Forest last year but I grew to like them and they kept a lot of the players I like mm. I think Ola Aina one he had a really tough time first twenty minutes against Saka. But once he settled into that, I, he didn't give him a he didn't give inch. A, and, he, and, he had a, and he had an early yellow card. And I was yeah, thinking, yeah. okay, Saka's going to have him on toast. And Saka was kind of quiet. That's great one on one defender. So, so I think they've, 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 bet, they've bettered their team. Yeah, Alanga and Olayna. I think they've lost I don't They've lost a few players. But none of them none of them significant. If I could change one one team, I would have changed that. Yeah, I don't think they're going to get really good. Yeah, I put them. But I don't, yeah, I'll I take them out. Finishing 14th, according to us, our genius list, is Burnley. Oh, yeah, what? they're staying up, man. Burnley? I do not think I they're staying up. I went there and I saw what was going on there, boy. <laughs> PK, what's, what's going on, PK? I'll tell you. PK, I was you in was the there royal, live I was us. in the Royal Dash. And I saw... Uh, but uh, Actually, nah, to be fair, I'll be honest, I think they can stay up. I was very impressed by Trafford. I, I was worried about him because it's a big jump for him, but I thought he looked very good on the ball. I thought he looked very confident. I, it's I not even fair, man. City are just busting him. Yeah, it's everyone, though. Yeah. Everyone's got a piece of City yeah, in there. City got uh, DNA. City got DNA all over the league, apart from United. Actually, we've got Central. It's kind of hard to judge Burnley, though, based upon a game against Manchester City. Yeah. So I don't even know what to take from that no, game. But, but it's can, Man City. You can. That's what I'm saying. When you say that, you, uh, you can see they shut down well. Like you can see, you can see they're gonna do like they. You can take enough from that game to say, okay, yeah. I think better. Uh, right, maybe you crazy. can, but I couldn't. Yeah. I, was, I, was I understand to get what Paul is saying. Yeah, they got the for Burnley down. and What's for we, we doing here, man. These guys are scoring like two yard tappings, bro. It was just for Burnley. Man for Burnley, for even their fans, for the Burnley and the manager himself, like company. Realistically, the weeks the, the league started last week, but for Burnley, they would think in their mindset, okay, our league starts next week. Nah, that's not what a company said. After the, no, after the, no he's going to go for the he wants to go for the win, but the Burnley, the fans, and everybody, if, okay, we're playing City. That's a free hit. You could try to get a result. It's not going to happen. So why did they shout out PK? Oh, psh, I don't know. It's a free hit. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a free hit. You might as well get someone who's in there. Who's gonna, you know what I'm saying? Jamaica, Jamaica. Jamaica. <laughs> Finishing one place above them. Uh, are going to be a team that Geordie believes we're going to get relegated. And they're going to finish 13th, according to us. And they are West Ham United. No what? Way. Honestly, I rushed it. At that point, they'd sold Declan Rice. <laughs> they'd lost Lanzini. It was before they'd, any, yeah. Arta Masuaku had gone. But also, Paqueta was being linked with Man City. City and they, today, they've got James Ward Prowse. Mm-hmm. Mike McGuire. They gave him so many, right? You need a lot more. They've got Alcaraz. Alvarez. Alvarez, Alvarez, Alvarez. Yeah, he's a baller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Mexican. Still need a lot more. I'd happily take Maguire. Honestly, people don't want him, but I just remember what he plays like at this level. 
he's a champion. He's, he's I sick. think you should get Walker Peters, man. I'd take him. You'll take Jed Spence, would you take him? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Jed Spence is good. Because no, no one ever wants to take him. Yeah. But in real life, I'll take him. Yeah. Jed Spence is a baller. You need a striker though. It's a bit of an unknown quantity at this point though, isn't it? What is West Ham when their midfield is going to be completely different by September 1st and they're probably going to have another striker and they might even let our good friend Michael Antonio leave. I've heard that um, there's heads getting butted between the new technical director and, and, Moisey. and Moisey. I've heard that. He did deny it though. Mm, yeah. Moisey did deny I'm it. I'm hearing it. That, Steven, yeah. where do you think they're going to finish this season? Uh... I think I put him around f where we put him, maybe 14th. Like, it'd be a tough season, yeah, man. Pocaccia stay or does he leave? Uh, unless they pay us. Like, you know, the chairman won't let him go unless you get the money. So if they give us that money, to be honest, ugh, again, it's so, it's so late. I would have liked to have got that money no. and then spent it. But 200 million on two midfielders for West Ham, if you, if you know who you want, is brilliant. Because, because you're, not trying, you're not trying to finish in the top five. You've got a Europa League that you're trying to push for. And you can actually have a squad second half of this season that can push forward, make sure you're safe, make sure you're in the conversation and push for a European you know, trophy. With Moyes, um, and sometimes it works out for him, some, a lot of the times it doesn't, but he just won't go. Remember that transfer window, um, not last one, maybe the January before, he didn't buy a player. Mm. Like he won't go and buy someone unless he's 100% sure. Um, so giving him money this late, it's the worst thing you could do for a Moyes, man. And in 12th, we've got a team that uh, Poet Scott fears about. Poet thinks they might go down. Geordie's got them just beating relegation. Um, right. Fulham. Wow. You think Fulham would go down? Because, do you know it was? I thought Mitrovic had left as well. And then I saw him on the bench. Do you so see that, that pass? Against oh, um, Mitrovic's pass? Yeah. Oh, my Lord. That Quality. pass was fantastic. Quality. That's what, that's what kind of messed up my prediction. He come off the bench. He looked miserable on the bench as well, but he come off and then shout out Reed scoring. Yeah, he's one of them man you can't put on the bench though. They're going to get angry. But it is chaos though, isn't it? Because the manager's been bid for, William's been bid for, Mitrovic has been bid for. Those three were probably the most important three pound for pound. Did they need striker start? Jimenez. Jimenez, yeah. Jimenez came on. He looked, he looked he look lively. Right. He looked lively. They bought him and then Traore from Wolves. Yeah, see him, Traore, Polino, when he comes back, obviously. Calvin Bassi as well. That's a good yeah. signing. They lost that winger to Spurs though, innit? It was on loan to them. Man Solomon. Solomon, but he, was, he didn't start many times. They're getting um, Hudson Adoy from what I hear. Is it, yeah? Who told you that? Sources, man. Here we go. I ain't seen it on Here We Go. Hey, Jordy, you think they ain't got enough to stay, to, uh, to stay up? Uh, no, they're going to stay up. I think he they're going to fight them though. going down. Oh, Poe, yeah, Poe, sorry, Poe. Po it was, I was scared of Mitrovic leaving. I knew that was a big person. That, you know, I was a person that was going to score a lot of goals for them if you take him out of the side. And if you lose Mitrovic's goals, Miles. You know yeah, what yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, yeah. happens. So, well, yeah, <laughs> your pocket's light. Or Trust me, pay? Mitrovic is a, he's a good. Yeah, he's gonna get at least thirteen this season. <laughs> you didn't pay you, Jody? No, nah, we didn't make a money thing. I know. I know better. Yeah, just, exactly. Come on. Next in eleventh place, we got a team that everyone pretty much had in the bang slap bang middle table. Uh, other than Vuj, who had them finishing a bit higher, and Stevo had them finishing a bit lower. Crystal Palace. CP. I worry for them, man. I, I, I'm i starting to worry for them as well, man. Alise is gone now. Alise is a ha. Where's Alise mm. gone? He's going, she's going. He's on his, he's on well, his he's way to somewhere. Chelsea, at time of recording. Rumours. It's all rumours with Michael Alise at this point. I don't, I don't, I don't see that going through, actually. Well, he's got 35 million release clause. Oh, is it? Has yeah. he? Yeah. yeah, apparently. So the fact clubs know that now. He's going, bro. Even if it's not Chelsea. He's, he's They've lost Zaha. If they lose Elise, they lose two of their most important attacking players from last year. Goals. And goals are incredible. They don't have good strikers. At all. They're talking about Shea Adams. Bad. Bad. Yeah, that, 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 Shea Adams. giving him double. That's not million. terrible, man. That is it, terrible. He's, he's not terrible. He's not terrible. I like him. He scored in, it, well, he scored in every game this season. Yeah, man. But he's, he's not a prem striker. We know that. He's that, he's that he that was at Newcastle. What's the, I forgot his name. Gale, Gale. Yeah, Dwight Gale. Gale. I, yeah. I, get, I don't get why people say he's like Gale. I don't think he's like Gale. Because like, he was a championship nice. don as well. Oh, right, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dwight Gale in the championship was mad. They said Crystal, Crystal Palace, they brought in uh, Jefferson Lerma. Oh, mate, he was incredible. That first game, he was a man on a mission. He's cold, though. He was linked to Liverpool this window. It was he? Oh, sorry. I'm talking about Decorey. Sorry, everyone. Uh, Sorry. They're just making our lies. Jamaica, Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> they signed a new midfielder from Brazil, Matias Franca. Um, he's young. 
twenty six mil they spent on him, but he's like twenty nineteen twenty. I've never heard of a Brazilian um, at Crystal Palace. At Crystal Palace. I can't think of one. You know, That's bad. I think losing Zaha for three hurts. But also, he done it, them dirty though. Who's Zaha? Nah, they could have sold. Well, him. He done them a sell. He stayed there for years, bro. No, but then he he let them. He's gone on a free. Well, he should have done the hurricane thing. Well, I think um, I think Nathaniel Klein signed a new deal. Nathaniel uh, Klein, he's not, still there. No, when he oh. when he oh. when he left the first time for Southampton, he signed a new deal and made sure they got a fee for him. So Zaha could have done that, but he's thirty. How does Sam Johnston look? I'm hearing I'm hearing Guaita is saying no, I'm not yeah, playing. Yeah, is not happy. Yeah, that was stink on Twitter as well. That stinks. Fam. What he said it on Twitter, yeah. bro. He said it on Twitter. Cause is it? Said what? That he's not. He's vexed that he's not playing. But on Twitter, wow. Yeah, Crystal Palace. I think that's another one where it's in the air, man. We'll know more after the. Everyone's transfer. having problems. There's a lot of problems. <laughs> Jeremy Carl, bro. Problems. Problems. But Always finishing problems. tenth in our table again. Everyone had them around mid table. Um, no one had them breaking this position really. Breaking bad. Brentford. Yeah, sounds about right. They look good, man. They did look good. They, they look did. good. They look okay, very good against Tottenham. Tottenham. Even with no striker. I was pleasantly surprised. And obviously, Rico Henry <laughs> Jamaica, was incredible. Jamaica. Was incredible. Yeah, I think I think then they're just not the team that should go down. And, and if Ivan Tony stays with them after the ban, then they'll have enough goals the other side of Christmas. I don't know. Mid table might be ambitious. Because they're higher? gonna Nah, lower. I think lower because because yeah. goals because like they've got good attacking players, but none of them are like natural goal scorers outside of Ivan Tony. Have you heard of? The, but do you know about Mbemo's record since Tony's got out of the way? Yeah, yeah. What is it? It's a pretty decent record. And he's up the levels this season yeah, as well, man. man. No, he's he looked, good, he looked, but he, he also made some mistakes. He, in he that missed game. a sitter. Yeah, not a sitter, but he missed a good. He's chance. not prolific, innit? He's yeah, but you don't busy. need prolific though. They're He's not trying to well. be. They're going to be top, games top. that are finished by that's decided by one goal. And that one chance he missed would have been it. I reckon he gets the next chance. Nah, certain games you ain't getting that much chances. They made that much chances because of Tottenham the way that they played. They played so high up the pitch. My man, Rico Henry was just giving Emerson Royal problems the whole game. They're not going to have that much space in and around playing but different games. He's always games. up and down. Most games you think watching Brentford, he, Rico Henry is doing he's his there. thing. So you talk to Brentford they fans, attack they a lot. Yeah. Yeah, they attack a lot. But man. they're not going to create a lot of chances this season. This next uh, team in the table finishing ninth probably would have done a lot better were they not downvoted a little bit by Vuj and Stevo. Brighton. I love that. Where? I get it though because ninth. Ninth, yeah. Because they're gonna play in Europe, first time ever. And that, that should take a lot of energy. They've just lost Moises Caicedo. Um obviously lost Alexis McAllister. They got rid of Roberto Sanchez, who they weren't really playing anyway. But it's a big it's a big change from the team that finished in European positions last year. Well, I think Milner's probably going to stay as a league ma- league man. Milner league man. Who has they who has they added? They got Milner and Dawood. They've added Mahmoud Dawood, uh, Joao Pedro, who looked very good. They got Igor Julio. The thing about it is, is if I say Igor Julio, Bart Verbruggen, we could all sit here and be like, but they're Brighton and their hit rate is high. So we just got to sit back and wait. Even they're looking at some random black youth for a Casado replacement. I guarantee he's cold. Oh, no, no, they actually are, yeah. 100%. I <laughs> but guarantee. yeah, they still got Pascal Gross. But how they do, what are they, what are they doing there? What are they doing in Brighton? They've got a great head of recruitment, but they've, they've got a consistent strategy. And, that's, top, and they've got a great manager. Top gaffer, yeah. They, they, top, and top they gaffer. raid South America. They raid South and, America. And, and, and boys, Ferguson's, this is his breakout season. This is the season for him. Oh. So... This is it. <laughs> if he score, if he plays a lot of these European games, More than which is a great place to blood him. That's good. I think he might do. Because, but, and that's only because Brighton create way more chances than Bournemouth. So he'll score more goals. I forget, I give him 10. All comps, 10. I think he'll score. Nah, way I mean, more I'm being generous. I, I want him to get more. He'll have less appearances, though. That's why I'm saying 10. I don't know if he's going to start. I think he, after a couple of games, he comes in. I think they, they, they. I think he'll score ten league goals. Still, is it? Yeah, I think they were ready for him this year, but Welbeck done had oh, a good preseason. Yeah, it's no. always good end of the season, Wobbs. Ninth. I had I had Brighton round sixth, you know. Well, there's there were eight very good teams ahead of him, or at least very good brands ahead of him, because number eight in our list, and they were around there, apart from the fact that one person put them first, and it wasn't Specs. It was Dan. It was Vuj. Oh. Tottenham Hotspur. What? Yeah, just ba- he's him, Should we call him? No, he's not bantering. That makes sense. He is, he is, man. He thought he... he just loves the stadium. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's his team right He's now. Over there. Yeah, James over... Madison looks fantastic. Oh, man. He looks so busy, bro. So, so, so busy. Every minute picking up the ball in danger areas. saying he got two assists, but the other assist was Yeah, nice. it was a ropey it assist. It wasn't an assist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was not an assist. I'm sorry. But it was, least, it was nice to see like Tottenham having some type of attacking dimension where they can go through someone in the middle because last season they were boring. The left back, fam. The left back. Mm, yeah. Udoni. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was, it was busy. Yeah, their striker though, he is a left back. <laughs> they're gonna need. They're gonna need to put someone else up there. Hundred percent. Because Son, Son didn't put Dane like... Scarlett in. Why saying? not? Gamble. Yeah. Why not? Why not? I think he's too young, man. He's too he's young. Why not? So what does that mean? First team experience. How old is he? He's like eighteen or something. So? Kid. What does being young mean, though? Yeah, but he's not got the stature of like Ferguson or that. He's not that. Richarlison all... scored one goal last season, cuz like, that's true. You, you but I don't give think it he's... a chance, brother. He ain't well. got that imposing. He ain't, he ain't got that yet. He's good though. He's good. Fifteen minutes, twenty minutes at the end of the game. Give it a try, man. So they're gonna get a striker before the window closes. They're, they're, they're hard to find though. That's I'm I'm with you, but then if I ask you who, if they if you ask me who, I'm gonna say Lukaku. Yeah, but they're saying that's 100 percent not what they're doing. I, some, I'm sure it's a you from it's a you from Genk or something. Some bleach face you. Gifton Gifton Yeah, Gifton Oban. Yeah. Gifton Oban, the guy so, like yeah. goals, 22 games. Twice yeah. Yeah. against West Ham, he Is played he him home and away. <sighs> Because before he'd scored a hat-trick before, and I was like, let me watch this guy. He played against us, it wasn't great. But he's been banging ever since. But then I, I go back to, and the West Ham fans reminding me, he was pony against us. But you can have a, you can have a bad game, but two bad games. Two bad games. Both legs. Yeah. Serious. Yeah, but it happens. Kamaka levels. Um, obviously, Guglielmo Vicario's come in for Tottenham in goal. So they can play more football. He looked a bit shaky. He though. didn't look good, he, mate. He, he did, he is that what is he a baller like like that? That's the plan. Yeah. He looked a bit shaky. Oh, God, I, I always give get keep keepers their benefit of the doubt though. Just let them warm up, man. Yeah, they they, they dropped the ball with Rare there though. They dropped the ball with Rare because it was after him. Every other sort of game that I watched that they keepers. So a lot of teams signed keepers that can play right this season. They all look decent. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. That make the transfer. That makes sense. Um, uh, who had a Dutch keeper yesterday? Someone played yesterday at the Dutch. You want to talk about Brentford? Brentford keeper. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, that one at Spurs, though, I didn't think that was his game. He's, he, his boots look massive. Like, he was all... <laughs> trust me, bro. Don't yeah, like, but yeah, do yeah. you know what? I think that's probably the... Uh, I mean, uh, 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 Anana's second, but then as far as new keepers go, you're probably asking the most of him. Basuma, Bas though. Basuma looks like a new that's the one. That's oh the one you picked in the draft. Basuma yeah. looked like a new... That's the one you picked in the draft. Yeah. He looks like a new guy in there. But Tottenham have obviously lost Winks. They've lost Lucas Moura. They've lost Harry Kane. Trevor Dyer, okay. Um, and six in our list. Boys, 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 boys. We did this list before the first week of the season. <laughs> oh, sorry. I actually have skipped one. Seventh on our list. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh. sorry. Seventh on our list is a team that everyone had finished in top half of the table, apart from Scribs. Uh, Aston Villa. I'm going to give them a blight for that first result. I know it was crazy. I know they got battered, but I actually think they've got a good team. And I think that Torres guy, although I don't know what happened, but when he came on, it was like the first five minutes, he looked good. And then the rest of the game was terrible. But I think they're a good side. They've got good players. Unai Emery usually gets it right towards the back end of the season with Aston Villa. So, oh, I think they're going to be all right. You know what, I think bro, they're going to be all right. Do you know what? This season, for some reason, I've got this feeling. If, and this is why I worry for West Ham, by the way. But if you start slow, yeah. there's a, so much competition in the league. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. you don't start quick, you're finished in this league. Here's, here's something that's uh, trendy to say, right? Mm -hmm. That I, I want to challenge. Tyrone Mings. Mm. I think Aston Villa might have had a massive setback in that game by losing Tyrone Mings. How long has he got? Is it, is it a little it's while? Like good it looks bad. It, it looks bad. Good yeah. It did. In going on what Poe said about Emre and being trusted, he knows Torres. Yes. I think him bringing him in, he must know something. I guess that. I think he had two squads. I think he had a European squad, squad and a Premier League squad. squad. Yeah, 100%. Pau Torres and Diego Carlos. In the Premier League. Conza and Mings. Is two, those, those are four very good centre backs. I'm just worried that the balance ain't right without Tyrone Mings in there in the Premier League. How about Diaby? Diaby. Diaby looked good. Diaby looks like a good oh, player. Oh, yeah, Diaby, yeah. But the thing with Villa, they'll get goals though. They're going to underwhelm. But I, yeah, I, don't, I, I think they. I think Uda Emery is going to push. For Europe more than he will in the league. They're gonna underwhelm, man. I they're gonna, gonna pull He's gonna push more for that. Yeah. Well, he is a dominant European yeah. coach. I think they might finish around ninth. They're gonna underwhelm. Around ninth, ten -ish. I believe so. Ten, yeah. And have a good European ten -ish, run. Ten -ish. They're not gonna push for that. I don't think they're gonna get European spaces again. What, what are they in conference? Not in, in conference yeah. league, innit? Yeah. yeah. 
They should win that. They should win that. I'm yeah. sorry. So the champions are. Um, you are. You are. Yeah, you've gone to Europa, man. You're one more step, boy. Shout one more to step. them, man. One more step. Do the you think boys. they need another striker, though? Yeah, man. To support Watkins or maybe even challenge they Watkins. They signed that John Duran guy. Mm-mm. But yeah, you know what? The H, the H in his name's in the wrong place. Do you know they've got their archer as well, and they're, they're pinning a lot of hopes Cameron on him. Archer. Yeah. He's good. He's very good. So He's good at Borough, though. He's good in under 20. He's good throughout England. Anytime he plays reserves, under 23s, whatever, he just bangs. He's he, good. He does well. So we'll see if he can. They've got enough, that. man. They've got more than enough creativity around from the midfield upwards. They'll be all right. Seven, seventh, is, seventh, is, seventh will be another good season for them because in sixth place, we've got, and again, I'm going to say, it'll be surprising a little bit, but then maybe, maybe not, Newcastle United. 5 1, they're top of the league. Boys, I believe Isak is going to be a top two scorer. Yeah, that makes top sense. Top two. I don't top know about top two, I think but top he's two. gonna score a lot, isn't it? A lot of important goals. Harry Kane's gone, you know. Yeah. Who's competition? Salah's gonna be Harlan. in the competition. Uh, yeah, and then Tony ain't playing out half the season. I think he's gonna be a top two scorer. Top four. Harlan and Salah. Hello, that's so well. <laughs> it's like two up. And then Saka. Two up on Did you say who? Saka. Low it, man. What do you mean low it? Not top two scorer. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean low it? He did oh, the top four. two, then I said, yeah, Saka. Harvey Barnes is in. Mm. Oh, love him. Scored. He came out of nowhere and just love did a mad thing. He came on crazy. Like, yeah, came on man. crazy. Sandro Tonali. Love him. Off oh. the mark already. I thought he was going to stink. Boy. Yeah, we did. We had yeah, this he's quite, he's yeah. a quality player. He meant to be like a, like a DM kind of, like a holding kind of nah, midfielder, he's really. Boxed. He's eight. He's that, mate. Yeah, he runs with they're it. using him in the, with the late run. They yeah. Don't, yeah, they don't, I don't, Newcastle don't do holders. No. Nah. Joe Linton ish, ish. Bro, he, they all advance, bro. And they're just interchangeable. He's in the final third, bro. Yeah. And then Gamera is... I would say he's more the holding out of him and Bruno Gimaresh. If they're, if I would say Bruno's probably the deepest lion. He's got he's got tackling 19 on my FM. Who, Joel Linton? 19. Bro, he's aggressive, I'll bro. show you when I get back, bro. 19, yeah, fam. What do you think about Gordon? Because he had a good game against Yeah, this Villa. is his season, man. He, he has, has, season. Season. He has season. to break out this year. Yeah. This is a good... He looks stronger. He had a great World Cup. What cup? What time? Under 21. Yeah, I watched like, him. That gave him confidence, 100%, because he just he feels like, yeah, I'm on, I'm on this thing. That cross, his cross, his cross no, for that goal know. the other day was one of the best crosses I've seen in a long time. It was perfect. On the, on the move, no angle, just straight yeah, up and down. they got a good team, perfect. man. they got a good team still. Going, to, going there is going to be tough. Right, Newcastle tough, on job. Bro. They got Liver Mentano to replace uh, Trippier when he. Uh, yeah, I always, I always let him do that, you know. Liver Mentano. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> right. Did Sorry we mention just now um, that Newcastle need another striker? No, you don't they got Isaac and Wilson. It's two, bro. I mean, that, that big boy league, you need four, Anthony three. Anthony Gordon, false nine as well. He played false nine for Everton you last year. You got, you got Harvey, you just came in. You could get Newcastle goals. Just, uh, not Newcastle, Man City just about got one. Four is, partners, have got four is partnership days, man. Two. Well, three, I said three or four. Oh, cool. Yeah, well, everyone's got two, really, isn't it? Everyone's got yeah, two. It's a two, two. Three at best. It's but a two, yeah, two, two. Yeah, or two and a half. You got a little hybrid. You. But then, <laughs> like, don't you notice that we're always saying that teams need extra strikers, though? So maybe the two's not enough. Maybe, but there is Anthony Gordon that can do the whole front three. And more time, we say they need an extra striker because their one is terrible. Where Newcastle have got Isaac, who's probably going to be top three, top four. But he's injured a lot, him. brother. If you, know, you know his career, no, but he's injured a lot as well. Who, Wilson? Saying. That's true. Injured always. Yeah, Isaac true. always. True. So I'm saying, do you think they did another? I don't think. I don't think you could add a first striker to that. Is, is my thought because they won't see the pitch, or you've got to sell Wilson. You might as well use you want someone from your youth. You need a Scarlet. Might as well you need a Scarlet. Yeah, yeah, youth team. Fifth in our table is the first Champions League spot going to... That's annoyed me this year, man. That's Chelsea. Yeah, it sounds it's, like it's, it's easy, it's, isn't it's it? It's easy, easy, man. Oh, that top five rubbish. It's, well, it's, it's definitely not easy because the sixth place is Newcastle, seventh place is Villa, eighth place is Tottenham and ninth place is Brighton. Let's be clear. Finishing inside the top five, and it wasn't easy last year. It was very difficult was last mad. year. I don't want it, though. I don't want it. Who came sixth last year? Brighton. Brighton. Yeah, Liverpool had to come fifth, though, man. But they almost didn't. And it was, everyone it was, strengthened. Yeah, but they in almost that got area. the Champions League. Yeah, it was almost like that last bit. They said, What? We're Liverpool, man. They're just. You get me? I get. I know what you mean in terms of thinning out it's the Champions League. And the Champions, new Champions League format's going to be dumb, and I'm going to hate it. Terrible. Right? But let's not act like finishing fifth is not a serious achievement. Yeah, if you finish fifth in the Prem, you won't be an idiot team. No way. Regardless of how your season went. In that, it was Liverpool. Fifth in Bundesliga now. Terrible. Yeah, Jesus. That's why they can't ever have that spot. Although I understand if it's a fresh team 
and they say spent a lot. Of, I just think if you spend that much money, fifth kind of stinks to me. That's too much. That's yeah, all they to need spend. to do, though. That's all Chelsea need to do. So it's hard. It's hard to get too critical if them finishing fifth. If that's the, that's the expectation. I, I personally believe don't even set a target. As a Ch- as Chelsea, nah, they, nah, have, they, they have to go for fifth. They look too good. They spent too much money. Enzo Caicedo, like you, you, you've got to finish. You have top to finish. Five. Enzo look good as well. I personally think just get it right, get it right, and then next year. Don't just... forget they're playing one game, week, one game a week, you know. Yeah, they're one game a week. Remember I, I, they came you know 12th? what? Everyone, I, you know what? I, everyone says that, and I'm guilty of that too. But I've never seen one game a week. <laughs> Make a man Chelsea and Chelsea, they Chelsea won the league. And Leicester. They won the league on one game a week. Chelsea and Leicester. Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. remember they won the league on that. Yeah. Yes, Jose oh, Mourinho made them first twelfth. They came at Was it Liverpool under Brendan Rodgers when they challenged for the league? Wasn't it one game a week as well for them? Who's that? Liverpool yeah. won it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, one game a week. Yeah. If you got the right manager, the right personnel, which yeah, they, they do have. They had no business challenging based on the start of the season. But Chelsea got sell players. I think their squad's too big. They had three centre backs out there the other day. That's without Wesley Fofana and without Badia Shile. That's five first team centre backs. Without Trevor Chalaba, that's six first team centre backs. Oh, yeah, he backs. was at the back chilling. They got too many players. And Thiago Silva is the best. Oh, well, he's keeping like, on. I could watch Thiago Silva all day. I could never say anything bad about him. But if they played a back three yesterday because they're not sure about him in a four, someone's got to go. Something like, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm saying, but I don't, I don't, I don't like the idea that they're playing a back three. Because of one player. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're saying, but I think this is probably his last season. And then another player gets sold. That's two centre works. And I think they're gonna get rid of um Cucurella as well. Mm. You reckon how can they get why, why though? It's one game a week. He's not, where's he gonna fit in? Where's he gonna fit? He if, if someone if, yeah, if that's, that's if, for this if, season only, bro. They play in Europe next season, definitely. They've got the mustard cups too, bro. I think they're gonna shift him. I honestly think they're gonna shift him. Watch. I think they'll get rid I think they'll get rid of Cucurella as well, yeah. This this year though, this this window. But they 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 brought on because um, they just sent Lewis Hall out. Have they? Yeah, to Is Crystal it? Palace. But he's a centre midfielder, you know. They brought. Ah, uh, so I'm playing left wing. They brought on Matson. They brought on Matson late in that game, and Cucurella didn't touch the pitch against Liverpool. That's a bad sign for Cucurella. That's a bad sign, bro. And he hasn't really featured that much in their preseason as well. But in context of the game, you want to attack. Like when he put Max Matson on, they that's were on, not, they were on Liverpool's next. That's not what they were trying to do. They that's were on Liverpool's next. Mm, that's not what they were trying to do. Because Salah took, Salah got taken off. That's not. I, they weren't bringing Matson on to attack. I, in my opinion, who scores for Chelsea? Though, sorry to Kai. Who scores for them? They need a striker. There's no question about that. Like Jackson guy, you don't think he's enough? No. He looked all right, you know. He that he he, he actually looked all right, bro. Mm, I like yeah, for real. I like this movement. But is he good enough for 38 stank. games though, PK? 38 games and sc- it depends on what he's gonna do in the 38 games. Not 38 games of scoring. Goals is a great. Goals is a great point. Because has Raheem Sterling got them? Raheem Sterling said he's going to be top goal scorer. But I don't Kuku, believe him. Kuku was part of their plans and he busts his knee. Exactly. Now, so. They're talking about Vlahovic as a part exchange with Lukaku or a straight exchange with I Lukaku. If they get Vlahovic, then I could see them doing something. The Juventus something. fans don't want Lukaku. So Some Juventus it. fans don't want Let's not categorise all Juventus fans as those ultras who don't, are unhappy with Lukaku calling out their racism. This Chelsea team is an unknown. We don't know what's going to happen with them, man. Well, we, well, what we do know is what we saw. What we saw this weekend is what we do know. They're impressive for me. And I yeah, thought they, they were look, very good. They look good. Add Casado to that, they'll win games. Yeah, they will. But at the same time, they played a, a Liverpool team that they had no midfield, basically. It's a Liverpool they, team, Chelsea didn't really have that much of a midfield. Uh, Conor Gallagher, boy. He's I love yeah, Good, isn't it? <gasps> Lavia. He's coming too. Lavia and Casado. So then what happens to Gallagher? Because wasn't Gallagher linked he to you lot? He kicks, he sits back. No, no, but I liked Gallagher. <laughs> I still think he was out of his depth though. Well, like you not? Or no, no, no. At Chelsea. Yeah, I, I thought second I, half. He was good, no, he was good, really good second half. Won the ball. I think everyone back. was so disturbed in that first half, that first half an hour for Chelsea, yeah, that yeah. by the time it came together, Conor Gallagher was shining. Yeah, I, I believe in Conor Gallagher. I really do. But you could see why they would bring Lavia. Like you could see, like they are probably but better again, options. Okay, so so again, this is what, this is what I think is weird about Chelsea, because now it's Fernandez, Gallagher, no, Fernandez, Lavia, Saicedo. Okay, so are you playing a free at the back? No, you can't. Because then you got to have above him, in front of him, um, a, a Raheem Sterling. So Raheem Sterling doesn't get to play wide. Chilwell and Reese James, do you rely on them fitness-wise to play wing backs? How? What is Chelsea's system? I think, I think we saw a contextual lineup, man. That's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking. I think we saw a contextual lineup. You come up against Liverpool, don't put. What three. does Poch usually play? Four. Four. Yeah. You come up against Liverpool, put three. You don't really know his lineup yet. It's the biggest. 
like a big game. It's a big. He's thinking just don't get smoked. Just yeah, don't yeah, get, yeah. don't lose. Just don't I lose. I but it was risky because Cole Will struggled with Salah in the first half an hour. Oh. He did a great job <laughs> against him after that. <laughs> no, Cole was getting smoked. I think Chilwell abandoned him a lot of that in the, for yeah, that first half. Yeah, he was up half. there, man, brother. And not having a DM. Yeah, uh, exactly. To come across, Conor Gallagher was not getting across there, Enzo. But, um, yeah, well, based on what I saw, I think they'll finish in the top five. Lavia, Lavia and Casado. So La- Lavia will play the six and Casado will play the eight. More right, than can, is this a possibility? Is too many options a problem? Too many options. No, not in, not in. I don't think in their situation. No, nah, not at the, not right now. What's too many options though? What like what is what? Because obviously, if you spoke, if you take a look at the defense, there's so many players. I'm like, once you. All of them players, you haven't bought them for them to just stay on the bench all season. So if it comes to December, January, and some of them are not really in the first team, I just feel like some of these younger players are going to be like, I've come here to play. What's going we on? Don't know, we don't know what too many options is until that window, sh- until that window shuts, though. Yeah. How, how many times have we seen this work? What, bear? Never. Just loads of transfers in the window. Never. Because bear in mind, they've got Robert Sanchez in goal, but they just let Kepa go. They let Edouard Mendy go. There is another goalkeeper coming. He might be a first choice. I don't know about like 20 certain signings. They do, I've they never seen this many signings. Matching. It's true. They sold both keepers, bro. Yeah, but the signings they are signing, though, is quality signings. Yeah, bro. They're good. Though. And you know what it is? Because they were so bad as well. The fact they're playing one game a week. Yeah. It's, it's, there's less games for a lot of these players. To, if you throw Europe into the equation, at least a lot more players no, are happier. I, I, don't think, I don't think he would want to play all of them. He'd want the guys that he chooses mm-hmm. to stay in the team and keep the other guys out. He'd want that. He'd, he'd you remember want last year though, when when they made all those signings, Thiago Silva saying that dressing. like the dressing room was a mess. Frank Lampard came out and said, look, there were too many players. The, the players weren't getting on. They didn't speak the same language. Poor communication. There was no unity. That that's not a problem that disappears overnight. Granted, Kai Havertz, Matteo Kovacic, Rub, Ruben Loftus Cheek, Mason Mount, Christian Pulisic, Ethan Ampadu, Kalidou Koulibaly, Edward Mendy, mm-hmm. Pierre Emerick Aubameyang, Cesar Spilicueta, Ngola Kante, Babi Rahman. And then the rest of them are probably um, youth players or players that are out on loan. They knew, they knew in general they were doing they've, that. They've shifted a lot already. There's still a lot to go, though. Because think about it. Even like we spoke about how many defenders they've got. They're going to spend 100 mil on, on uh, Caicedo, another 60 on uh, Lavia. What, does that mean Conor Gallagher stays in the team? Yeah. They have to. They have to. Have, they did. They don't have enough midfielders. They have to keep a midfielder. But them guys are like priorities. They're hundred mil players. Can I say that one? man can't be sitting on the bench. Like, I, I, no, can I say that? No, we're saying can I say those stuff. Gallagher, 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 Gallagher bench. Gallagher, will. Gallagher bench. He knows. He, he didn't cost nothing. We've got them fifth, and I, I believe that they will finish in top five. But then I remembered that Newcastle was six currently in our list. So, is a. It's still a lot to be done. It's it, that top six. As much as the rest of the league is going to be fuming about the fact that they're nowhere near it. It's going to be very interesting. There's going to be some great matches between those six teams. And I've got nothing against Reese James, but captain, really? And then your vice captain's Ben Chilwell? And you both are players that are consistently injured? It, and then you give it to the guy that should just be captain anyway, who's also injured all the time? Well, you don't want to learn English. Fair enough. Um, number four, as in fourth on our list. I don't know why I said number four. Liverpool. Yeah, nah, I'm, that's a my bad for me. Specs had them low. I don't think, I don't, I, I think if Liver, if Chelsea do get, I know we're talking about Liverpool now, but if Chelsea get fifth, I think it'll be because Liverpool weren't good enough. They're definitely the most at risk as things stand. They need a midfielder. That's, that's bro. They need, they need, cri- they need two midfielders. Yeah, they need two. That, and that's why. And I, quick. And, and I think they're going to panic. Do you think they need a centre back? Yeah. No, I like Canati though. Yep, Canati and Dan Dyke. Well, they I think they centre-back. think they need a centre back. That's why they were asking about Cole. I think they need a centre back. Yeah, bro. Because listen, Matip, Canati, and VVD. It's not enough. And bro. Joe Gomez. That's but, three. But I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to mention his name. I don't want to mention his name. He's just broken. So yeah. it's like they, they, you need four centre backs. You need four centre backs. They it, looking at them against Chelsea. It looked a little bit like maybe they thought it was 2021, and just like maybe that high energy, rough run, rough run. Like it just. And Mo Salah looked classy and like controlled when it was working. Yeah, then when it wasn't working. Although to be fair, I will say this: when Harvey Elliott came on, he I looked hard. He looked classy. That's real high energy. Yeah. But what Where I saw before that was gone. Robertson, I think he's taking. The, he's taking. <laughs> he's been running up and down the pitch for that. I don't know how many he's years. Man. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He's not looking at the same guy, man. He had a bad game against one Chelsea. One game though, lying, one, one, one game, one game. I think he's on t- um, oh, Kirantini's okay. type beat. They doubled up on him though. Yeah. Yeah, he, they doubled up yeah, on him. Yeah, Sterling did. and James. He had no oh, help on that side. They just picked him off. They just picked yeah, him Sterling off. Yeah, Sterling and James, yeah, they gave him a headache. Again, that game, I, I don't know. Can't take much from it really. Yeah, it's mad. Like. I think the things you can take from it are that 
goals are important. And yes, Mo Salah, amazing uh, performance. Are there enough goals in that team? I think there is. On paper, there is. On paper, there is. On but paper, and Cody Gakpo was playing in midfield, so maybe nah, they scored a lot of goals last season. They did, they did, but but the whole team's predicated on this high press. The whole team's is get the ball back quick. It's based on like the midfield being very, very mobile, very able to move from left to right and just shift the pivot. Until they get them in fielding, it's hard for me to look at them and say they'll okay, be. I think Man they're in United, a position Chelsea, though. Newcastle, they're Liverpool, definitely in a position. Uh, say Arsenal. like Chelsea got Casado and Lavia, and we're still like question mark. If Liverpool got that now, for me, they're they could even challenge. They're title challenger. You understand? 100%. So it's like they're. It's a bad position, but it's a good position because if they get these two DMs that they need, they right, just lost the two they wanted though. They'll get that. They'll get that. Kone. They'll get Kone and and Taram, I think. But Manikone and Turam are not the DMs, man. They're not the guys nah, to hold. I, 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 Cole, I rate Kone, but I, I don't think Turam. He's just not a DM, innit? They need Casado and Levia. But it's gone. It's gone. It's done. It's I'm gone. just saying, like, but the, the 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 profile of player that they need. They needed one. Two. They needed one of them. Ryan, who's the uh, the key that Dortmund got? Yeah, yeah. Is he not? Is he powerful enough though? I think they need a bit. I don't think Ryan Gravenberch is ready to play in a Champions League challenging Premier League team. I think for me, he stinks. He's for me, he stinks. I think they need more youth and they need more energy. They, yeah. But uh, look, we've got them, we've got them fourth. I think it's going to be fascinating what happens in the next couple I'm, of weeks. I'm, I'm, I have them lower now. Nah, I can't write them off yet. Because, they, because it, like, last year it did happen, but it's happened once in the past five but years. But it was last year. It, it did. It, true. And it looks, that's what it looks like yeah, now. Yeah, right now it does, but. Trent's got a new haircut. He was cooking though. He was playing alright. He played alright. He was alright. He though. played alright. He looked alright. Played alright. Now nah, he Both defended. Well. I don't even know how he got yeah. over the bar. Yeah, they scored seventy-five goals last season. Seventy-five goals. Oh no! In terms of like pure goals across, Nunes can score. Jota can score. Diaz can score. Salah can score. Gakpo, Jones, um, Elliot. Gakpo. There are goals there. The problem is, it's based on how they play. Their goals are. It's not like Salah's the only pure like this guy's a finisher. Finisher there. Jotter as well a bit. Ah, they got issue closing games now as well, man. Because look, they've scored, they've just gone and scored twice, they conceded two. Like that's gonna it's gonna keep happening. I feel like when they attack, as good as they are attacking, you're gonna need someone to be the boss. And McAllister don't do that, does he? Yeah. Don't track runners. I think that's about other midfielders though. If, if once you get the midfielders around McAllister and Schobeschle, it's, it's gonna make sense. But they don't have them, and, and it's all we can base it on now is what they do and don't have. But third in our Premier League table. I, I don't understand how this is Mark's sabotage. This uh, Specs has them finishing first. Right, why is it, you see Specs? Jordi and Vuj have them finishing second. <laughs> Lippy's got them like sixth, seventh. Yeah, I got them sixth. Manchester United. Had them fourth. Okay, Nacho, they need to let the reins off him, man. Nacho, he's a it. Go Nacho, rush for Dantony. None is a good signing, but I think I think you think you're gonna learn like they're not ready for that kind of keeper like fast. I think they are. I think they are. Everyone, everyone in their team can receive ball to feet. That's all. That's all the team wanted. Yeah, Luke Shaw was quite good at that, you know. I think David De Gea cost Man United a lot of goals last year by just not having the right first ball. Do you think Anana is a better shot stopper than De Gea though? No. No. Short De Gea is probably one of the best shot stoppers in the world, but I don't think shot stopping at that level comes into it as much as you think it does. Because he's not, he's not, yeah, he's not so bad. He's not so bad that we need a shot stopper. Yeah, yeah. It's not like the people are just yeah. taking bare shots at Manchester United. They might be like two, three in the game. Because what we needed more was someone that could play out. Like De Gea couldn't play out, bro. I, I still think you got players that, that don't want it to feat, man. Who? Varane, um, Casemiro in certain Casemiro, situations. Casemiro, what? These yeah. guys have come from have Madrid. Varane's technique is Certain situations, crazy, I understand though. what you're saying. I, I just think, that it's not even the fact that they're not good on the ball. I just think they'll be in situations where they won't want it. And Anana will be like, I don't care, take this. <laughs> and and <laughs> I, even, even if that happens three, four times, those, those will be important times, I think. He wanted Timba, remember? Bola. He wanted, I think he wanted Fringpong. Bola. You get right me? back. Yeah. yeah, like these, like he's after fullbacks, bro. Mason Mount's in. Good signing. That's a, a physical uh, uh, upgrades to Christian Eriksen. I don't think he's an upgrade to Christian Eriksen like at Christian Eriksen's best because Christian Eriksen's best is unreal. But it's a physical upgrade. I in think that even space. him on the playing it out thing, yeah. Like, is it gonna be Casemiro, him, and Bruno? 
which is it's, it's balanced. But again, if Bruno's kind of forward thinking as well, whether he does it or not, that's what he'll want to do, in it? So it's a thing where, I don't know, man. You think I think there'll Casemiro just be times where you'll just, you have to just f*** around with it at the back too much. It's an attacking three, but Fred's gone. Tomane's maybe going West Ham. May not probably will add a midfielder. Donny van der Beek's on his way out. Amrabat, you, do, you, do you fancy that? I like, I like him. <laughs> hey, I'm not gonna, uh, no, check my Twitter. I liked him. I'm not, jo I'm not joking. The worst people. thing is, I, I did, like him I before, did actually like I just him. Think, Who are you speaking about? Amrabat. Amrabat. Moroccan. I just think the position that you are in, I don't think you're, you're ready for that. I don't think you're ready for I that. I don't know what that means. Like, he's, he's a madman. Casemiro won't be your craziest midfielder. You have someone worse than him. He's I don't lose. know, man. Well, Casemiro ain't bad. Oh, he's definitely bad. Casemiro's bad. He's a madman. I think bro. he's a madman. I don't think he's a madman. I just think the, the league was too fast for him first year. I trust ten marks though. Rasmus Rasmus Hoyland. Um, I've, people talk about him like he's under a lot of pressure. I feel like he's not under any pressure. I don't think there's an expectation for he him. He can't be under I pressure. We've had bad strikers. I think he's under major pressure. Why can there not be expectation? Yeah, There'll yeah, be expectation yeah, for him, can. especially can. for the fans. Hundred percent. I said he can't be under pressure. Oh, there'll be pressure. Of course, there's pressure. pressure. I just, I just don't think. What, how many goals do you think he's going to get this year, Lippy? About twelve. <laughs> nah, about yeah, about twelve. Twelve PK? league goals. Eight. I think, I think about twelve. Miles. Eleven. Steve. I think. I think he gets fifteen. Poet? About twelve. Yeah. No, it sounds like pressure to me. Yeah, but that's that, that's what we think. That's though. what that's I think. What we, yeah. they, they, so, they, so, I, I don't. So, so if we all think the same, what now the pressure is? No, I, I'm just 25. saying I don't think he's been bought to score twelve league goals. Yeah, I think he he's been bought to turn United into a free throwing I, I, I think, team I think, again. I think you're projecting a little bit. I I just think I I think that pressure is based on what you think seventy two million is, what Erling Haaland is. I, he's been bought as a marquee signing, hundred percent. I don't think so. You I, don't I, think Hoyland's worth a marquee signing? That's a marquee signing. Yeah, man. The way, the way, the, the way it was, on, the way it was um, like, sold to us, like, yeah, he's coming and rare, rare, rare. Oh, he might go sold, PSG. Sold, you're talking about Twitter, signing. man. You're talking about no, Twitter. No, no, you say that. But for me, if you, when we get on to other teams, yeah, we're going to talk about, guys, these are marquee signings. I put him more with, like, Nicholas Jackson. Level no pressure. Way. No, Marky, level, there's no. In there's terms no of level of pressure. Nah, nah, there's no pressure on um, Jackson. Why? What? Why? Because Why? Why? he's been bought with about Why? thirty other men. So if he does, if he doesn't do well, there's a, there's an excuse that oh I'm part of this because again we said so it the pressure is because we didn't no, buy listen, bare listen, players. No, listen, we've said it here ourselves. When's the last time it worked when they bought bare man? So it's we're already kind of making excuses for guys. Hoyland now. No, here's 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 where I land on it. Here's where I land on it. We know Mark. We know if Marcus Rashford's gonna score a lot of goals. We know that. Bruno's gonna score a lot of goals. We know that. So they got two goal scorers. So and they got a lot of options on the right. Granted, do you not think this is a signing like Pogba and Sancho? No, and Anthony. I no, I don't. I wouldn't say I, it's that. I, I, I wouldn't say it's that though. I wouldn't say no. it's that high profile. No way, bro. So you think you've just bought no guys this transfer window? You no, you haven't bought no, a market signing. Mount. I know, no, no, yeah. But bro, we got a new keeper, bro. That's not your marquee signing. The keeper's not your marquee signing. Ah, uh, you tell me who it is. The striker. You just spent seventy for two million on a, on a striker. You've just, you've, you've just, you've, you've bought this guy. You've bought this you to to kick on. So just so we're clear, just so we're clear, of all the signings, Hoyland's the marquee one, yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Cool. Not the one that they signed the England international from Chelsea. For sixty-two million. It was sixty-two million because in the last year of his contract. Let's be honest, yeah. The, 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 no, can I say something? And and, and it, I don't think this is what makes it a marquee signing, but the reaction to Mount is mixed. Yes. Yeah? The reaction to Hoyland is we've got the guy. Because that's what you're doing there. Jordi's sitting there. Oh my God, no, <laughs> nah, you're like killing like, me. The, you think there's pressure on the wonder kid? Like you think you've got the mazzy. That's, like, that's, that's not what I'm not what I'm giving you at all. I don't even think he needs to start. Huh? So no, nah, he does need to start. I, th I, th I think, you, can, I think you could get him into the squad over the course of 10, 15 games. I don't think you what? need to look at him and be like, he starts. But if he's been injured, how does he start? Brilliant. But team, more people have entered this chat now. More Newcastle are in this chat now. Chelsea are going to think they're in this chat now. Liverpool want to be in this chat now. Man, Man United got more yeah, competition if you're saying now, that they need to not, maintain, that's, that's this season's definitely harder to maintain. Much harder. So what do you think? So what do you think? So, okay, you said 12, yeah? You said 12. What do you think Ten Hag wants from him then? I, I think he wants him to make you lot better, regardless How of many goals? the around fifteen and up. I reckon you want him to so be 12, 15. That's no, the no, difference. Not, yeah, but again, Mitrovic scored thirteen last year at United. 
surely any striker that plays is 20 not the target anymore like well in, in, i think in two years time it probably is yeah i'm saying i believe that he is a plug-in player to fit the system that has the youth and has the potential and is not someone that manchester united internally are looking at and going our season rests on his shoulders in any I way. I, I don't in think. Any I, don't, I, don't, way. I, don't, I don't think. I'm that's not what saying Marquee that. Means. That's what I. How's that not that's Marquee? What Marquee then? Means. How's that not Marquee, boys? Talk so, me through it. No, we're oh gonna. My God. We're gonna talk about other. So, no, we're talking about this so, now. So Casado, Casado for Chelsea. Yeah. Is that not a uh, Marquee season signing? defining? Yeah. If they, if they, if they do well this season, it's because of it's him. Of and if Casado. he doesn't do well, they don't do well. Marquee, bro. Marquee. Uh, you tell me what Marquee means. Marquee just means you're buying someone that's going to lift the spirits of the, the fans. The rare to, like, the new thing, the new, like, a guy that's going to push on with your team. That's what a marquee signing is. So who's is. Chelsea's marquee signing? Caicedo. Caicedo. All right, so you think, Mar you think Caicedo, who is the difference between Chelsea finishing top five and not, yes. is the difference I between... I think so. Yes. Oh, Lord. Uh, you know what? The marquee yes. signing. Look at that. Look at the definition. Look at the definition. What? What, what does it say? Definition? Marquee signing, meaning the acquisition of an exceptionally talented, influential, or popular player. So again, if we buy Neymar, a you know, a listen, listen. So this this teenage striker who scored nine goals in his career is that is yeah. that, and he's and he's been bought for seventy five mil. And you're and you're Manchester United. You've needed a striker for six seven years, and so you've gone spent. Come on, man, wake up, you lot, man, wake up. Sorry, I, I, can you read that again? Can you read that again? Go. Because you are wrong. Am I? The, the, the acquisition of an exceptionally talented, influential, or popular influential. player. Influential? Or, or, these are all okay. like options. Or, or popular. So where's so he popular? So 75 where's he, million. Where's he popular? Well, right now, he, he is popular right now. He, has he got 32 appearances at, at the pro it's game? It's not about that. Enzo, how much how much appearances did Enzo have before he went Zero. Chelsea? It was well, still a, a lot more. Signing. A lot more. Oh, no, no. oh, God, it weren't a lot more. Bro. A lot oh, more. God, it 75 more. million. 75 um, million. All right, then, Mudrick. Mudrick, so Mudrick weren't a marquee signing? Mudrick was Chelsea's marquee signing? In the same window as Enzo Fernandez. Are we sure? Are we sure? Can you only have one? Can you only have marquee. one marquee signing? Yes, surely. The whole, the, this whole conversation has been predicated on the idea that there is one single marquee signing. Now you lot are moving the goalposts. No, it don't now say that. You no, you're not. You're just raising your voice. It don't say that. You've got your own definition. They don't say that there though. So now it's two marquee signings, yeah? Pressure's off, pressure's off, pressure's off. No, it's not. You lot are just off. laughing for pressure's no reason. Off. Three marquee signings you're now. It, but you're, you're, just you're just shouting, you're just shouting, you're just shouting. Four marquee signings, Amrabat. You're just shouting, you're just shouting, you're just shouting, you're just shouting. You're just shouting. You're just shouting and laughing. Okay, you don't no, say no, that no. there. What have we said? That's so wrong. Even if you don't agree, how's it? How, what are you lot doing? How many marquee signings? What are you lot doing? What are you lot doing? How many marquee signings? I think you've got two. I think you've got two. I think you've got two. A minute ago, you didn't think that though. No, he's always been saying that. I've no, been he hasn't. I've been listening. No, he hasn't. We didn't know that. No, I said it's Mount and my man. I'm saying it's not a nana. You tried to get me to say it's a nana. I'm saying no, it's not a nana. 75 million on a striker. You want big things from him and you're not going to uh, Yeah, get but it. I don't think you want it first season. I don't think they're that under pressure I, for I'm him to do lie. it first season. I still think that can be true and he can be a marquee signing as well. I bet he's not though. Because the whole of conversation is predicated on the idea that there's one marquee signing and to me, it's not him. And now the, when, when it started to look like it wasn't him, you lot started saying, there's no, two no, now. No, 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 I didn't listen. You lot may have said that. You lot said that. I didn't say any of that. You said that. And then everyone said, oh wait, that's a good way to get out of it. Two. No, I never. No, when you lot were saying, I was thinking to myself, when, when is it just been you can have one marquee signing? What's that the case? You should have said it. Look at the you should have said it. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, what are you talking about, man? Shut up, man. Finishing second, according to us, Bottle jobs. are a Egypt, team fam. who Greg has winning it, Lumos has winning it, Lippy has winning it, Miles has winning it. Margs has finishing fifth. Dan has finishing fifth. And Stevo has finishing fifth. Arsenal. Finishing fifth, bro. What? No, no, don't tell me. Because we signed Declan Rice. No, 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 explain. He's gonna explain. This though. is the guy that you really rate. We signed Declan Rice and now we're gonna finish three spaces lower. No, no. Why don't I think you'll come fifth? Yeah, let, let him I land. think just everything what we've said today, how tough it's gonna be, that top five spot, I think it can go any way, to be honest with you. I think the top I thought my top two is gonna be City, Liverpool, and then after that, boy, it's Do you reckon Declan Grass yeah. is and world class? I think he's world class. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is Odegaard world class? Yeah. So Odegaard and Declan Rass are in the middle of the same team and we're gonna finish fifth. I don't understand. What, 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 oh, they're going to win the league. Okay. You, you. I haven't said that. Exactly. I don't, I don't think they're not. I don't so, speak like that. So as you well. believe that Liverpool and so Liverpool, Egypt, Chelsea, Egypt. and Manchester United are better than what Arsenal have right now, even though we've improved from last season and we was way better than them last season. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That makes sense. Fair enough. I mean, you didn't look great in that first game. 
No, we, we, didn't, we didn't look bad either. Yeah. We didn't look, yeah, no, we didn't look bad as well. There were, we points, there were points where you didn't look. There were points where you didn't look. Two good. points in like two, 15 two points minutes, in the 20 minutes till the end of the game. We had, we had 79 percent. Listen, I felt the energy from these lot. They hate Arsenal. Like, I think it was always gonna happen, innit? And our issue, what? To, they, to get caught on the break. Like they had 21 percent possession over 90 minutes. Which is what you expect for. Like, nah, for I, a I hear you, but it's like the point I'm making is why I, I'm not even mad at what Steve was saying. Is if we played, where did Forest come last season? They just beat relegation. Seven, we played someone top half last yesterday. The way we played, I'm, I'm not saying we would have played like that against us, but say we did, we'd have lost, bro. But our setup wouldn't be like that. Our approach lo- I, wouldn't I, be I, like I that. It's all different, Giza, man. So. I, I hear that, but it, it's still true what I'm saying, isn't it? Because again, you could, t- we were so in control of that game to the, it was to the point, man, were walking at a point. They weren't. Coming at us, but all it took was a set pace quickly gone. But that's more to do with the fact legs. that Nottingham Forest are just chilling out, and then they change the game a little bit. If if you play a top team, they're gonna keep you on your toes for ninety minutes. We won't approach the game like that, though. I, I I'm afraid that we're gonna become one of them possession based teams that is really hard that that finds it hard to score in it. Cause I feel I like so, them man. teams. You're shaking your head, but it, it happened, bro. In the in the one in the one match we've seen, that that's that's. Yeah, but what how happened. many chances did we create in, in another day? You, you could have scored at least three, four games. No, though. bro, it's three, the fact goals. that we didn't score them. It's no, it, it, that's how football is, bro. You have to go off what happened. Not when you don't have what, a predator up front. This is it. That's for me. Yeah, that's one of, my answer. One of our, one of, yeah, cool. Yeah, you don't have a predator up front, but we got we had a few players that was missing. So like like Poet said, we're not going to be playing like that that formation nah, every game. I, I, it's not even about the formation. I, I I think no matter how we play. We get into times where it's just it's tough for us to score. Oh, but it's football. It's Premier League. You're gonna get hit on the counter. You're gonna get. You're gonna play. Teams are gonna score against you on the be counter. More, be more. Be, be more practical. Yeah. Be more practical, Miles, and not just defensive. I am being more practical. Obviously, there's gonna be times people are gonna score. Yeah, but that's against not practical. Us. But it is practical. No, it's not. It's defensive. It's, it's, it's not. Why am I being defensive? Pro- 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 act- proactively yeah, but, solve the problem. Yeah, but no, solve I, the problem. I understand what Lippy's saying. I understand what no, Lippy's saying. No, but don't do that. Proactively solve the problem. All right. So name another team that potentially has a similar problem to Arsenal. I don't think. I don't think. So everyone else was just gonna score. I'm not saying that. I we think have, Liverpool we have, United. No, but again, this apart from nah, that. it's not even. I'm saying, but Liverpool United don't play the possession-based football we play. So they'll still they'll be and ready. And teams are they'll approaching still Arsenal still differently to how they did last yep. year. Yep, yep, hundred percent. All, lie, of, that, yeah. all of that. And matters. Steve-O, you never had. I mean, I mean, Steve-O, Tigo, you never had it yet. And I've said it that Havertz in that match where he played centre mid against whoever he played against in pre-season, he looked decent but he's just at slower pace than everyone else. That happened times a million in that match against Nottingham Forest. And if my man, if Mikel does the stubborn thing and tries to force this Havertz thing to work, I'm not saying fifth and that, but we ain't winning the league. Julian Timber now has got an injury. I liked the fact that you looked so like big when you played Man City. You looked like you could control the ball. You looked like you could do the free box free thing with the inverted fullbacks and everything. Um, to me, that's a big, Loss because Arteta clearly had a plan. He looked good. He looked very good in before, the two, before two games he played. Um, that does bring you more into the conversation of party right back. That does bring you more into the conversation doesn't. of this player out of position, this player. Oh, of course it does. How can you say it doesn't when one injury put him right back this weekend? No, it doesn't. Cause how do you, how, go on, explain to me how. Because we've got Gabriel there, he's going to come back. He was on the, the bench, bro. Yeah, but when he comes back. He was on the bench, yeah, that means he's fit. So when, yeah, but when he comes back, okay, cool. So next the bench. week he's fit then. And, you're, and you've got that 60 million pound midfielder that we've just been talking about. Yeah, but he can go on the bench, like I told you. Could, so, so can I say that? No. So you've asked me, you've, you've asked me, why do I think Arsenal are going to finish fifth, right? Mm-hmm. And in this five minute discussion, you've just named a centre midfielder at right back. You ain't got no striker. Other teams know how you play now. We have got a striker. Like, I'm, t- I'm sorry, striker. I'm sorry. I'm just, you've we, asked we, me we why. Those, you just said it all we yourself. I stayed silent and you said it all yourself. That's why I think they're finishing fifth this year. We have got a striker. Okay. All right. We played party right back no because we, we played party right back. We've done what we've done that game because we thought we'd win no matter what. And that's what happened. The Champions League that you're going to be in this year. Yeah. And your squad's already first game of the season being overstretched. Yeah. All right, no, not, and another and another thing, and, and my last and my oh, ending okay. and my ending. Um, I'm going to end it with this. Just look at how nervous you lot just was at this nervous. table. Oh, okay. right. <laughs> That's another reason your fans wait, are going to be a problem wait, wait. this We're year. We're nervous, bro. so Again. now Arsenal Again. are going to finish fifth. Again. That's your point. Your that fans. Stinks. Your fans. That stinks. Your fans. I believed everything you said. Apart fans. from that, you stink. So you believe my, fir- my first that five stinks. points? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Of course, that yeah, one stinks. Yeah, yeah. Boys, Arsenal finishing second according to us, but you know who's finishing first according to us? Everyone guess. has them in the top two, apart from Vuj, 
They are champions according to Tigo, Margs, Poet, Jordi, PK, Dan, Stevo, Ross and Scribs, and they are Manchester City. I don't want them to win it again. Has anyone done four in a row before? No. Nope. Jesus Christ. They got a goal, bro. They've lost Gundogan. They brought in Kovacic. They've lost Riyad Mahrez. They've brought in Josko Gavardio. But a lot of people are saying they've gotten weaker, though. Yeah, they are. A lot of people saying they've gotten weaker. Well, you would say that because in, in losing in losing Gundogan and adding Kovacic, you lose goals, you know? I think, you lose goals I think, in, I think Kovacic will score. Because I think Gundogan was a heavy beneficiary of the system, and I think Kovacic is going to find himself in a lot of space, and I think he's probably going to score some goals. I hear that, but I think I think Gundogan scored important goals, though. It's not that it's not. I think it's scored important goals because it's it's all about space. Because because the more that team they play in the big games, and you can f pull out Holland, or you can pull out Grealish, or you can pull out Foden, you can pull out Bernardo Silva. There's going to be more space for that extra run. That's always been where they benefit. I'm scared for Foden though, because Foden started last season well and then drifted out of the side well, and they the had a replacement. Is the, brain the brain is injured is as well. Very injured. Yeah, Foden could, yeah, they I could trust. The brain's broken, man. Wait, I what think is that? he's gone. A lot of men have just walked off the pitch first game of the season, man. It's, the intensity of a Premier League game is, you can't replicate that in preseason. You can't crazy, replicate it, man. I don't think they're going to do the treble again though. I think that the, the squad's nah, not big enough. Nah. <laughs> that's the, that's the, Miles, Miles, I swear down, if you put a pound on that, you'll win one pound 20. They ain't in the trouble again. I don't know though. I, look, Real Madrid look very good. Very good. Go. But I don't know how many other teams I think can actually win the Champions League. They could win the Prem and the Champions League again. Definitely. Oh. All right, boys. We are actually going to update this um, when the transfer window in uh, January closes. So February. Um, but that is our table right now. I'm going to quickly run it down. 20th, Luton Town. 19th, Sheffield United. 18th, Bournemouth. 17th, Wolves. 16th, Everton. 15th, Nottingham Forest. 14th, Burnley. 13th, West Ham. 12th, Fulham. 11th, Crystal Palace. 10th, Brentford. 9th, Brighton. 8th, Tottenham Hotspur. 7th, Aston Villa. 6th, Newcastle. 5th, Chelsea. 4th, Liverpool. 3rd, Manchester United. 2nd, Arsenal. 1st, Manchester City. I don't know. Filthy at 5.com. I don't know if we're going to come second. Subscribe huh? to the channel. Thank you for coming, boys. You don't know if you're going to come second. <laughs>